and I attack your Kamori dragon. One less dragon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Hundreds of episodes, dozens of series and variations, a couple of movies, we all know what it is. But did you know that there is a secret movie on Amazon and it's live action? On the contrary, Duel Monsters uses your mind. It kept on being recommended to me on Amazon as an IMBD top rated movie. And it's got me interested. So let's not waste any more time. Let's see what this movie's about. By tragic means, Yugi at a young age lost his parents to a car accident. Is that canon? Did Yu-Gi-Oh's parents die in a car crash and we flick to them dead in the car at the beginning of the Yu-Gi-Oh series? I think he's taking a creative liberty here. I'm for it. I'm all for the creative liberties right now, but I, I don't think that was in the Yu-Gi-Oh series. So what are you both doing? They're playing Duel Monsters. Sounds like a boring game. On the contrary, Duel Monsters uses your mind. Depending on how you play your cards, you can win or lose on just one card. This guy's been making movies for like 20 years. Imitation in delivery is a skill you learn at any acting school. You can basically hear that he's reading the script there and that is not how you want to kickstart this movie, right? You, there, there is no emotion in what he's saying there. Depending on how you play your cards, you can win or lose on just one card. Lejeune attacks your rock soldier. <sighs> oh, I lost again. Oh, he lost again. They kind of give in Yugi the uh, the Rain Man persona, if you know what I'm saying. The uh, socially struggling, can't make eye contact kind of character. It, it seems to be what they're going for, because everyone else is delivering stuff with emotion. Oh, I lost again! But Yugi? Y Yugi's hitting that monotone monologue. On the contrary. Oh no, they're actually going out in public. Hey, what's this? It's called the Time Wizard. It's a rare card that could get you out of a bind someday. Ah, oh, thanks, you. Say, where do you get all your cool cards from? My grandfather owns a card shop. Oh, Kaiba's lurking in the background like a pantomime baddie, just skulking behind the columns. Rare card. Rare, Rare card. card. I think it takes a lot of guts to go out in public dressed like that and film anything. Well, what are we waiting for? You let's go see your grandpa. <laughs> Who's that? She's the regional champion of Duel Monsters. She's hot. Whoa, slow pan up. Talk about Yugi hoes. <laughs> You're Yugi Moto. Yes, and you're my valentine. In the flesh. Oh, Wait, this I'm is painful. This is real painful. I'd have more of a challenge with solitaire. What? Hey, who do you think you are? They all have this like air of softcore porn. I don't know what it is. It is maybe the poor delivery um, or like that fake sensuality. In the flesh. Which A, don't do it. Don't get Deborah down and rope her into these movies just to embarrass herself. It's not her fault. It just doesn't work. But a good duelist would be open-minded and use their talents to help others become better. Not me, hon. I'm in it for the profit and the limelight. I think she's afraid to duel me. You challenging me, hon? Care fight! Hey, who do you, who do you think, think you are? are? We've got the overconfident regional champion, the uh, pokey trainer, if you will. And then you've got the challenging lady. Now this is the first bit of real character development we've seen. They really, oh yeah, they're really, uh, they're really showing her pick up every card. I let one card face down and I normal summon petite angel in attack mode. What? That's crazy. That's a crazy move to begin with. Wait, wait, wait. They're not Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're fucking pictures. They've printed some. So clearly they didn't have the right Yu-Gi-Oh cards for the script. So they've just printed some off. Just change the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Or buy them. That is surely that's surely the least you can do if you're making a Yu-Gi-Oh movie is get the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? You could see the border. You could see the print I border. Down, what I the fuck? I will attack your harpy lady at twenty four hundred. Oh well, I lost one. Great move, Taya. Yeah, good job. Stay with it. You almost have her. It's just so beautiful seeing a supportive team. That little feather destroys all magic and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. That means... It decreases Taya's monster back to 1600! You're smarter than you look. Hey, look who's talking, Joey. Yeah. God, Joey? Joey's antagonistic. Joey's a hothead. He's easy to wind up, but he's fiercely loyal. They could really do with a bit of music, just some soft ambient music, just to, to loosen this thing up, because it's feeling rigid. It's feeling very rigid. That means... You know my... I was like you before in high school. I was captain of the cheerleaders. I was popular, cocky, and proud. I could snap my fingers and it would happen. But then, I met Yugi. They taught me that was not right and I should humble myself. It's Yugi humble canonically myself. put the woman in her place. Yugi's red-pilled? I laid out a pot of green which allows me to draw two more cards. 
I lay monster aborn. I return petite angel and place her in face up defense. We're unironically watching a group of friends play Yu-Gi-Oh right now. But have you ever watched someone play Yu-Gi-Oh in real time? That shit's boring as hell, bro. And I lay this card face down. That will end my turn. My. My. What? What just happened there? Did she forget it was supposed to be her turn to speak or something? I think they forgot to edit out the part where they remind her to say her lines. My. My. What? What? I recover my magician of faith. Your small monsters won't help you. My heart is Good audio powerful. mixing. Good play, Taya. I wasn't expecting it. Right. I'm sorry, what? This has to be satire. It, it, the thing is, none of it's ringing of satire, but it has to be. He physically didn't answer the phone. Not only was it not ringing, he didn't fucking answer it. Right. I don't believe this. Is he going to be okay? Is someone in danger? That's a whole other storyline. Well, Taya, this has been a real life opening experience for me. I have nothing in my deck to beat your wing weaver. And not to see my harpies destroyed, I end the game. Great job, Taya. I knew it was in here. Is that it? That was a bit anticlimactic. I thought she'd like get blasted into oblivion. Or maybe Taya would like lose and pull out like a, an AR and just gun her down or something. That would have been interesting. That would have been a good twist on the genre. I choose that one. So the next time we duel, I'll have something to counter Harpy's Feather Duster. You're on. Well, that was wholesome, you know? They bonded, she was humbled, and if they were to duel again, she has something to help her in the fight. That is a beautiful character development. I'm in pain right now. Oh, Joey's come back. What's the news, Doc? It's my sister's serenity. She's had a disease and her eyes progressed to a level that needs a delicate operation done, but it costs $500,000. She has a, okay, no. It's no, it's serious. She's dying, all right. She's got a disease in her eyes. It's progressed so bad. That bitch is blind as a bat. Two days from now is a big contest. Only really good duelists are allowed. There's a fee of $200. The Grand International Champion will be there. His name is Bandit Keith. If you win the prize money for your sister, then it will help her. This probably won't be enough. It's $500,000 prize money, huh? Oh, whoa, the plot thickens. It's exactly eye operation money. The Yu-Gi-Oh tournament said, how much should we give for winning this? Mm, about the cost of an eye operation. About one degenerative disease eye operation money cost. Seems like a good amount. Well, maybe my grandfather can help with that. Let's go to the shop. Good idea. Oh my god, it's old Yugi. Look at him. Super Mario, hobo looking ass. Joey's sister's in need of a serious operation, but that operation's gonna cost $500,000. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, you coming here for that amount of money? <laughs> These overalls don't pay for themselves, Yugi. Please, if you can help me with the $200 entrance fee, I, I can try to win that money from my sister. In return, I can work around your shop or, or do anything to repay it. Sure. I've seen how this goes. Joey, young, supple, in need of money. Granddad Yugi, old, horny, runs a creepy manga shop. It's very dear to me. Like life itself. Oh, the blue eyes white dragon. The blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so In a powerful. phone case. They only made four in the whole world. Oh no, Kaiba's pulling up. This must be the card he wanted. So you need to duel monsters too, eh? Well, maybe we could duel sometime. I would have more fun eating oatmeal than playing you. What? I challenge you to a duel, rarest card on the line. Then I accept your challenge. Two days hence, around 7 p.m., we will duel. Meet me at my business building. Meet me at my business building. It's written by adults, right? It is made by an adult man. It's written by Stephen Gru. Why not just say, meet me at my office? That's good English. Now, office assumes it's a place of business. It still makes you sound like a businessman, yeah? If you own an office, holy shit. The saying, meet me at my business building? Makes you sound like you wrote that with crayons. Silk curtain doorways, what's going on? Oh, this is the championship, I think. You know you made it to the big times when the walls are covered in cheap silk. If it isn't Yugi Moto. What? I hear you're not in the contest. F That's a shame. I wanted to get the chance to crush you like a bug. <laughs> no pun intended there, Weevil. <laughs> Some other time. Come on. Even I feel sexually assaulted after watching that. Tonight, the winner of all the duels had the privilege of dueling Bandit Keith, international champion. If you defeat him, 
We receive prize money of five hundred thousand dollars. We've got the completion now. We're seeing the highs, the lows. Who's winning? Who's losing? Those boys done everything they could to get females into this because we all know that if it was a real Yu Gi Oh competition, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have quite so many women. Is that a Yu Gi Oh card? I play my blind degenerative sister. You ready to tell me, Blondie? Sure thing, Nimrod. So you can have any of your family come watch a view the door. <laughs> oh no, Lopez! Come on, don't do us like that. Come on, umpire was doing so good up until he had to deliver that line. So you can have any of your family come watch a view the door. Just re-record it. Just re-record that line. I don't think any of their budgets, like I don't think their salaries are so high that they couldn't afford to re-record him not saying the sentence right. And we're back to playing with fake cards again. Now I summon Overdrive, the 1600 attack. And you feel right into my trap. You shut a trap? Bingo. I give it to him. All American Joe, he's actually pretty good. You shut a trap? But I still want to see him lose. I want to see Joey triumph. I need to see his daughter, daughter? I need to see his sister repair her broken little diseased eyes. End of turn. Good luck on your drag, Keith. Keep talking, Tweed. You're such a sniveling little wannabe. Nobody beats Bandit Keith. Nobody. Bro, he's just getting bullied. You may have destroyed my Axe Raider, but it won't do much to my life points, but add to them. I told you not to attack. They won't do anything but add to my health. Does Joey have that accent in the Yu-Gi-Oh series? Like that really fake American accent? First, I lay down the Steel Ogre Groder number two, but I destroyed my Black Pennant, which in turn does 500 points direct damage to your life points. And then I lay down seven completed, which raises his attack power to 2600, and I attack your face God down monster. God damn, this guy is the best actor of the bunch. He delivers it with emotion, he delivers it with speed, power. He remembers his lines. Oh. Well, what do you know? Another seven completed just cheated. Card. Don't count Joey out of the game yet. He still has a card that could change this game around. He keeps on flicking her in the eye with his hair. Don't count Joey out of the game yet. He still has a card that could change this game around. He's got to pull his magic card that Grandpa gave him, surely. But he needs to believe. Oh, is he using telekinesis? Oh, it's the one Yugi gave him. What? You destroyed my barrel dragon with that cheap card? That's right. Your barrel dragon takes a permanent vacation to the scrapyard, you hunk of junk. No! I attack with Thousand Dragon! I won! You cheated somehow, now money's mine! Actually, you cheated, Bandit Keith. I didn't cheat. We have it on tape. Now we know how he became international champion. The newspapers will hear this. Well, I'm gonna kill you! Whoa! He knows Capoeira! Joey's a badass. I like the way they knew he was cheating too, but just saved it for the end. That's a great competition right there. We have a grand champion, Joey Wheeler! But he's won! We've got a new champion, and his sister's gonna be safe. I present to you, Maximilian Pegasus! Congratulations, Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Here is your prize money. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. So dancing Pegasus, he has a millennial piece. That's his eye. He wants the one that Yu-Gi-Oh has. But so far, he's just been a background character, despite the show being named after him. He, he's really taken a back step to allow the other characters to flourish. And that's really where Time to Duel, that's his strength, you know? That's where it shines, is the fact that it, it, it gives alternative avenues of character development. Well, but what we haven't thought about is what's happened to Grandad, because he's he went round to Kaiba and we haven't seen him since. And I reckon that this is going to be where it progresses now. He's got the old Nokia out. Hi, Yugi. It's Seto Kaiba. You might want to come to your grandfather. He isn't feeling so well. You can find him at my headquarters. They jumped him. They beat the shit out of an old man and stole his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If Kaiba has done anything to your grandfather, we gotta get to his headquarters fast. Ah, they chucked oh, him outside. I, I tried to teach him a lesson. <laughs> and the prize was worth it all. Bro, Kaiba's a nerd. Like, he, he sucks. He, he sucks so bad. I just, I wanna see Yu Gi Oh beat him. My special card. My treasure. The person you should worry about is me. Follow me. Damn, Kate flip up the staircase. Now it's time for revenge. Everyone, this is a sign of our friendship. So when Yugi's in there dueling, he knows he isn't alone. We are all right there with him. This symbol symbolizes the strength we all have for each other. Again, with that poor English, this symbol symbolizes the strength. All you have to say is this symbolizes the strength, right? You, you're repeating yourself for no reason. More silk screens, and they've got the knockoff Yugi decks. You can buy those Yugi decks, you can still buy them. But instead, they've just cut some plastic up and made this abomination, but that's fine. We have built prototype dueling discs that make it real as if the monsters come to life. Let's duel. Whoa, his JPEG eyes opened. And now, Kaiba, it's time to duel. Finally, Yuki's getting some action. He's the star again. I summon the Komori Dragon in attack mode. Whoa. 
Look at that dragon. Oh my god, this is awful. This is terrible. Little green screen effect. Didn't really quite get him out. Oh, they've got the attack. And it blew him up. What the fuck? Gee whiz. Gee Whitaker. I lay down pot of greed, which allows me to draw two more cards. Has anyone seen that meme where it's like, I lay down pot of greed and pick up two cards, and then I lay down pot of greed and pick up two cards. I summon pot of greed to draw three additional oh cards god, from my deck. And I summon pot of greed to draw three additional cards from my deck. Then I play magic force, which allows me to play pot of greed once again to draw three additional cards from my deck. I lay down Melvin Nuzzler magic card and summon Silver Fang, and I attack your Kamori dragon. What did he spit on that bitch? Did that wolf just come up and spit on the dragon? One less dragon. Keep it up, Hugh. Uh, whoever you are. Then we'll see Joey's what you clapped do in the this. head, bro. That guy has no idea what's going on. I soul exchange your mystical elf to bring out my blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> blue eyes white dragon. That is not a blue eyes white dragon. That is a blue dragon with white eyes. And I summon Lord of D. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, we're in These sync. I agree. I agree. And I summon two blue eyes white dragons. No, he called the horn, and it's, oh, it's so fucking loud. He's got three blue eyes hoop oh, dragons. Do you know now the real meaning of fear? I'm, I'm shitting, I'm crying. This is just too much. Three of them is insane. There's nothing he can do. No way he can win. You're going down, Kaiba. You will if you don't shut up. I'm shaking, Kaiba. Now we all kind of know what's going to happen if you watch the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, but for those that don't, what's going to happen? How can he survive? The odds are just not in his favor. There it is, the left arm of Exodia. Grandpa told me one day about these pieces. There are many great and wonderful cards. Ah, uh, a classic lesson from Granddad. He is a homeless man, I'm telling you. He's an unstoppable monster who will automatically win the game for you. All he needs to do is get all the body parts together and he instantly wins the games. But can he do that in three turns? The deck, it senses my doubt. Oh. We must stay together, Yugi. Is it the one? Is it the card it needs to be? Power of Exodia, the forbidden one. No, not Exodia. No one's ever called on him before. Look at that, a little animation as well. Badass, oh, it's fully animated, holy shit. Exodia, obliterate. <laughs> oh! You are defeated, Seto Kaiba. I lost. Kaiba is defeated by the power of friendship no way. and Exodia. If you truly want to know, Open your mind! Uh, okay, I'm losing it a little bit here. I'm not following anymore what just happened. Who are you? I'm Yami Yugi, the spirit of the Millennial Puzzle. Am I going crazy? Because I don't feel like he's actually changed. I know he's like supposed to get spikier hair and a different personality, but that hasn't happened. He's, he's, he's the exact same. Through our friendship, we'll be able to get through any trial. Well, before we get on Mission Tyriad, I want to get this money to my sister, so... Can we leave this stiff joint? Pegasus, Seto Kaiba has just been defeated by Yugimoto. Okay, that was over slightly more quick than I was expecting. Oh uh, look, they done Yugi Yami as Steven Grew. So he's the writer, director, and actor. On the contrary, Duel Monsters uses your mind. Still, I do not understand if this is satire. I just don't, I can't figure that out. I'm just entirely confused, the CGI stuff. Perfection, perfection. And now this guy has dozens, as I said, of these, they've done like Tomb Raider, Resident Evil. You can't win, Max, put down the gun. Time and if you want me to, I'm going to go through all those as well. So let me know in the comments, like the video. If this video gets enough likes and reactions, then I'll definitely go back and look at that because it is insane. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm shaking, Kaiba. <laughs>